Hi, this video demonstrates how you could add a running news feed to your Access database. The value of this feature is that it can keep your staff up to date as data is entered by multiple users. This sample database holds personal information on people, similar to a client or fundraising database. You could apply this method to other types of databases such as sales or marketing. The main components of this database are a table storing your basic information on people. If I open that up, you see it's just individual uh, people related to the organization. And another table that stores their contact notes. So every time a person calls or emails or comes into the office, the staff goes into their record and adds a contact note so that anyone can see a running um, history of what the person's interactions with the organization have been. The contact notes are displayed on a list as a form called contact notes feed and it just lists the top, uh, it lists the most recent contact notes that have been added in descending order of, of when they were put in. So the way you turn a contact notes list into a, an active news feed is by using VBA to use the timer event to requery the list every three seconds. In addition to that, you'll use VBA to alert the other users that a new note has been entered. So the way this works is staff go into the people form and this form is, uh, is bound to the people table. So you have the person's name and it shows any existing contact notes that the person might have and it allows the staff to enter new contact notes. So if I'm a staff member, I'm James, and my person has sent an email saying that he will attend our next event. We say John will attend the gala dinner next week. And when you save it, the contact notes feed now reflects on the caption of the form that there's a new note and who it's about. If another staff member enters another note, they, that note will then be reflected on the contact notes newsfeed. So what the feed is doing is requerying every three seconds to um, show the most recent contact notes and it's modifying the caption on the tab of the form whenever that happens. So let me show you a little bit about the timer code that is doing this and then in part two of the video I of the in the part two video I will go into the VBA code in more depth. So if I go into the design view of the contact notes feed I see three uh, text boxes that are not visible when the form is in form view. The first one is called text original record count. This box, every time the form opens, is going to record the number of records in the contact notes table. This one is called new record count. So this one, every three seconds, it requeries and uh, checks the number of records in the table of contact notes. If there are more records in this box than in this box, the caption is set to change and, and say new note plus um, the person uh, with the person's name. So in other words, the form records how many notes started off in the table and then the second box records every three seconds if there are more notes than were originally there. And if there were, it alerts the user in the caption of the tab that there are, are there are notes to read. So let me show you a little bit of, let me show you the VBA from the timer event. So you select the form properties and as you can see there's quite a bit of VBA involved in this but I'm just going to focus at the moment on the timer uh, procedure. So over here on the timer you can see that the timer interval is 3000 milliseconds or three seconds. You can set that to anything you want. 
um, when you go to look at the procedure, it's pretty simple really. Um, it just tells the new record count box to look in the table of contact notes and count the number of records. Then it says if the new record count is greater than the original record count, then the caption should say new note and the person's name. If the new record count is the same as the original record count, then nothing has changed and the caption continues to say contact notes feed. So that's sort of the crux of the matter for this feature, um, as there's quite a bit more code just to keep everything running smoothly, but I will discuss that in part two of the um, video series. I hope you enjoyed this overview of a fun little bell and whistle that you can add to any multi-user database. Thank you for watching.